My earliest memories of being Muslim, living in Trowbridge, were probably my school years, um, at the ages of six maybe. Um, I remember being in the school um, canteen and asking the dinner ladies whether it was okay, whether the sausage were okay, whether they were pork or whether they were beef. I would always uh, build myself up to asking the question, um, are these beef sausages or pork sausages? <laughs> and hoping the dinner ladies would say that they were, they were beef, because um, from an early age I, I knew um, I wasn't allowed to eat pork. I remember being at school later on, maybe sort of 14, 15, everyone talking about the presents they got at Christmas. And, you know, some people got new tellies and I was always hoping that they wouldn't ask me what I got because I never got anything. <laughs> then I, re I later realised that we did celebrate Eid and we had two Eids a year, so I had double the presents. Um, my father was very strict, even about clothing, the clothing I wore. I remember going to a shop, I think it was New Look actually, and uh, buying a really nice leather jacket and I was so happy with it. My mum had bought it and um, I took it home and my father told me to take it back <laughs> because he thought it wasn't appropriate, it was too short. The rules were, you know, no boys, <laughs> our clothes had to be very modest. Um, I wasn't allowed to go on school trips. I think my only school trip was when I was 17, it was a residential trip and um, my lecturer had to phone my father for permission. <laughs> Um, so that was the only sort of residential trip I was allowed to go on. I think Islam for me teaches me right from wrong, keeps me grounded. Um, I believe it's important for me to show who I am for my children um, so that the tradition of being a Muslim, especially for me growing up in, in Trowbridge myself, being born in Trowbridge, isn't lost. <laughs> September 11th, that was when um, I noticed that I was a Muslim in Wiltshire you know, maybe by the looks I was getting from walking through town. You know, I did question at times whether I should take the scarf off, you know, would I feel safer? But um, I did persevere with it and I didn't take it off. I know some of my friends did. Um, you know, you got very self-conscious. I mean, my early years were fine, no problems whatsoever. But now, later on since that, since the bombings and, you know, the, the media, it's been, um, it's been a lot more difficult.